you guys today i'm gonna do the rap game season two and since this is a, like a kids show i decided well my daughter decided that we can do this together <laughs> um so um we might have difference of opinions and i'm gonna try to keep my profanity to myself but y'all know me when it comes to the rap game um or any show um it's fair game regardless if it's kids or not but um i give my honest opinion and if you're new to my channel, I'm just really straightforward. I don't take sides and stuff like that. I watch every episode and just give my opinion just based on what I see. I don't follow anybody on social media. So, just to let you know, I'm not on anybody's side. Um, But this is, I like the rap game. I like how it shows. Like I always say, it's all about support. And we need different music. And we always have to give these kids a chance. We would never get different music if we don't give different people a chance. So that's what I like about the rap game. This is a show where JD, um, Jermaine Dupri, you know, CEO and everybody of So So Dev, he is known for getting kids to become mega stars. You know, like Chris Cross, um, the Brad, you had Monica, you had so many people work with him that just became so, so big. Um, you had Jacket Edge, you know and stuff like that. Bow Wow. You can never forget Bow Wow being a child star from Jermaine Dupri. So, with that being said, let's get on with the show. Because my daughter probably don't know nobody I name. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, we had seven kids start off this time. I was like, seven? But okay. So, let's get into them. We're going to just... Um, go about talking about each kid. And we can talk about it what we thought about each kid, just first impressions on each kid. So first we had a little key. He was from Baltimore. He came with his mama, Mama Key. Heart, what's her name? Tar Hanukkah. Boo boo. If y'all watch my Snapchat, you know how I feel about that name. <laughs> so yeah, we had a little key. And I thought that, you know, first impressions, he, you know, he got the little quality of a little rapper. What you thought about little key? Who? Cool. The little boy with the flat top. She might not know their name with the flat top. No, I knew who with he is. I just didn't know who you said. Little Key. I thought he was brave because he was the first one to jump up and rap even though... Wait, what? We ain't I even on that part. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's just go like this. They had to perform. They had to perform for... um. A group of people as the first audition because it was seven of them in the house and Jermaine had a twist that it's only five gonna make it really in the house so two people was going home so we had B Cox as a judge we had a guy named Zay Tovin I've never heard of him but I guess he's a good producer um out in Atlanta um the brat was there Timberland was there um so, yeah, let's get in. Lil' Key went up first, and I did. I thought he did real good. I thought he had a lot of energy. He was in your face, you know, stuff like that. I thought, you know, for the first time, he did real good for one. And he was bold enough to go first. So, that's what you meant about him? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next, we had Jayla Marie. She's 11 years old. I think she's from New York, she said. Um, and I liked her. I, I really liked her. Um... I like she had like a comedy relief up into her rap, and she also can sing, and that's a good, that's a plus. What you thought about Jayla Marie? Well, I thought about her. I said I started off. Wrong. That's the eleven year old. <laughs> I know. I what I thought about her was that she blew my mind because she was so young and rapping. So and I thought she was amazing. Okay. Cool. Um, next was Nia K from Chicago. Um, I don't remember how old she is. I think she said she was 14. 13. 13? You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I thought she was a beast. I thought Nia K has the star quality that Jermaine might look for. She was in your face. She had flows. Um, I just hope she don't be cocky. I really, really hope this girl don't turn me on her because I really think that she has talent. And you know, usually when they have talent like that, somebody is up in their ear to mess it up. But what you thought about Nia K? Eh. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I remember this is my sister niece, right? Okay. Okay. Um, next was Talia. Talia is from Tennessee. Um, Nashville, Tennessee. She's a, a white girl. A lot of people was comparing her to Iggy. Um, and for the first round, I thought she did cool. I thought it was dope that she uh, rapped without the beat. So I thought that was cool. But I thought she was okay for the first time coming out. Yeah. That's what you thought about her? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, next, we had Mini Barbie. Mini Barbie, I had seen on YouTube a lot. I had really seen her, like, over the years a lot, and I thought she was good on YouTube. Um, but she ran out of breath, and I was so disappointed. Like, oh, my God, like, I really like this girl on YouTube. Um, but to see her run out of breath, it just shows y'all these videos to end when they be editing, they be doing a lot of cutting and putting together, I'm just saying. <laughs> what you thought about Mini Barbie? Uh. Apparently she did. She was who? She was the girl that ran out, was running out of breath when she was rapping. And they was like, that's not a good look. I wasn't paying attention to that part because I didn't like it. <laughs> This shows y'all she's honest like her. I'm just saying. Um, Monty, Manny, whatever his name is from Monty. South Central LA. Um, he messed up his first go round. He messed up the words and he don't have that star quality to me. And I think his mom is. I'm not gonna like her. But um, yeah, he didn't have that star quality to me. But and he messed up, and that's not a good look on your first audition because. Like they say, first impressions are everything, and to me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my money on somebody that's not real confident, not real. Like that's this is a big opportunity, and for him to mess up that first go round, I would have been like, okay, you can go home. You should have been well prepared to the second season. What you thought about money? I thought that he was okay. Well, he wasn't okay, but he when he forgot the words, I thought he was bad and wasn't professional but i thought different in when we got further in the show okay prince um of new york i thought he did really really good especially for him to be just now starting out and he's 14 he's from brooklyn he has the wild hair i like him i think that he can do something with him i was like damn is it the ones with the wild hair that just ask and rap because you know miss mulatto had the wild hair too but he's a beast. He's a beast. Um, I like his flow. I like, I think, you know, you can make a star out of him because he's so fresh and he's not real arrogant and stuff like that. He just know what he can do. And I like that about him. What you thought about him? What I thought about Prince of New York was I, when he finished rapping, I thought he might win this whole thing. But then, <laughs> never mind. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Okay, so then they end up going in the house. I don't care when they get in the house because they feel like it shows your, the parents' true colors. But they had to go to the house because, um, and JD told them to go back to the house and write a rap, you know, kind of basically dissing the other person that was, you know, who they thought that was their competition, basically. And um, so they went to the house and they went to go rap and all that kind of stuff. Um it was only five beds. Oh, when they had to, out of the seven people that rap, Mini Barbie ended up going home. And I was like, okay, I can understand that because she messed up big time. Um, it was out of her and Monty. Well, and then I was so shocked because I was like, okay, he said five, but then he ended up keeping six people. So, okay, I don't see the star quality in Monty, but I guess maybe JD do. Um, but yeah, so they get to the house and it's five beds. And Talia didn't get a bed because Monty hurried up and his mama hurried up and ran and got him a bed. And I'm sitting there like, this just, mm. I would, I, I would want my son, I'm sorry, just maybe just me, the mama and me, and to want to teach my boys, right? But the mama and me to teach my boys is to give up the goddamn bed to the girl. Maybe it's just me, but I really would have <laughs> wanted my boys to say, you know what? She's a girl. I'll go sleep on the couch. But um, so then they end up having to perform for JD and Snoop Dogg because, you know, 
Snoop Dogg is a big person and a lot of people fumbles when they get around Snoop Dogg lose trying to thought all that kind of stuff because he's a big star so he wants to up his game this season with these kids and want to see who will stay in control when they perform it in front of a big time person because this is what they're going to do if they want to be signed to so so dev so then um let's see who goes first let's talk about that money goes first I hated the fuck out the... Oops, sorry. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Monty's glasses. I wanted to rip them glasses off his face. I didn't even care what he was rapping because I hated them glasses. Um, What you thought about him? What kind of fashion trend was he trying to set? I don't know. He said he was the Michael Jackson to rap. I, I don't know. That's what he said Jackson in his glasses. I don't know. I just didn't like it anyway. <laughs> but um, he didn't diss anybody in his rap, but he did better than he did the first time. Little Keys went second, and he messed up. He kept on fumbling. He kept on fumbling, but then he ended up coming back at the end, but he kept fumbling, and that wasn't a good look. I keep telling y'all. Little Key and Mommy, switch places. <laughs> okay, we're messing up the words. One did good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. Um, Then we had Jayla Marie. And she dissed every dang gone body. Mm -hmm. She dissed everybody in her rap. And that's what I liked about her. Because she did exactly what JD told her to do. Um, What you thought? When she was dissing everybody, I thought everybody that went after her was, was going to come like, back at her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it didn't happen. Talia messed up. Messed up big time. And asked for her notebook. And still messed up. <laughs> I was like... Girl, you need to go home. Just, I was all on my Snapchat mad because I kept on saying, if JD picked this girl, it's because of the factor. Because if you can't rap, if you mess up and then get your notebook and you still mess up, why are we here? Why are we here? I just felt like, okay, it's time for her to go home. Nia K. Beast. Beast. She was all in Snoop face. That girl is an entertainer. And I kept on saying, girl, if you win people's face, you better be saying something. And she actually was saying something. So I like her. What you thought about her the second go round? She was okay still. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? It's the truth. I mean, like I told you before we started, we're going to have different opinions. And I like that you're a kid. And get in the camera. I like that you're a kid, and I like that you're giving me your opinion, so this is cool for me. Um, Prince of New York, he freestyled, and I think he did real good. He a beast to me because, you know, he freestyled, he did what he had to do, but what I didn't like is that he didn't diss everybody like he was supposed to do. And if you freestyled, you should have been going to each one of them, dissing the heck out of them. Um, but he did good. If You know, he freestyled in front of him. And he, he held it. So, you know, Snoop, you got anything to say about him? It didn't matter that he freestyled. He just should have did what he was supposed to do while freestyle. Yeah, that's true. So, um, Snoop gave him, JD, his advice on what he thought about the kids or whatever. Then he comes to hit this. And the hit list, JD did it kind of different this time because usually he started from number five. But this time he started from number one. And I was kind of shocked, but okay. So, number one was Nia K, which I thought was going to happen because she killed both of her performances. I was surprised that man, Monty went second. Yeah, Monty went number two. And I was all, like, what? Who, I thought he would have been like near the middle. Yeah, I thought, yeah. If he was going to stay, he should have probably been the end because he did come back. And so he should have been like number four or five, kind of like between the last two to see who was going to stay. Um, Jayla Marie. Number three was Jayla Marie, which I thought Jayla Marie should have been number two. Um, Then we had Princeton, New York, Princeton, New York, which I should have thought he should have been number three. I'm just saying. And then we had. Lil' Key as the end, and Talia went home. And I thought, like I said, if anybody, Monty should have been five or whatever, and it should have went up like that. But it was a really good episode. We both enjoyed it. I liked it. I'm I'm a huge fan of the rap game. I'm a huge fan of Jermaine Dupree and what he can do with kids and 
You know what I'm saying? So I really shout and give support for all of that that he does for little kids because I'm all about support. little kids. Oh. I'm all about support. Y'all know that. <laughs> Y'all know my daughter knows that. But I'm all about kids winning and doing, you know, positive things and not being in the streets, doing dumb stuff. So this get this show is something that me and my kids can watch together. This is something that's a family show. And you can just motivate other kids to, like, hey, I can do this too. So I really like this show. And shout out to everybody that wanted me to review this show. And I'm going to stick to it the whole season. Who do y'all think is got the potential? Who do y'all think that y'all don't see making it? That's all I'm going to say. Who do y'all think don't y'all just don't see it for it? can probably go home Low now. <laughs> This is my sister niece. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, follow me on all social media by the ghetto view T H A not T H E. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Peace out. Bye, and I'm Miranda Percy. <laughs>